Thanks, Abigail. That was absolutely excellent. In fact, I was so busy concentrating and writing the last line of my notes, I forgot that it was me to get up and introduce our next speaker. Our next speaker is John Stevens. John and Hazel joined in 1994. Um, since that time, they've earned three million pounds from Clean Easy. Now, I know that statistics say that the average person will earn one million pounds during their lifetime of work. So, you know, that's that John's already earned three times of that. He's not as old as me, so he's a wee bit longer to go yet. <laughs> um, the trips, well, John costed them. And if he were to pay, if, if he had had to pay for himself and Hazel, it would have cost him 165 thousand pounds so he's been on loads of clean easy trips loads and loads and loads of them he's also been distributor of the year and he was the first person to earn or to to win a five series bmw at the same time there was two other people in his business who won the three series bmw and andy meldrum was one of them well done John's also written a couple of books, and I'll, I'll hold them up. I can't hold them both. Up. Oh, I can hold one. Where Does It All Start? And it's, it is an excellent book. It, it describes exactly what we need to do. And a follow-on, how it really works and how it can work for you. I know that Carol's got some of the books there. Uh, so if you want any, I think seven pounds. Seven pounds per book. So if you want to buy that book, on the way out the, the door, Carol will be able to get them to you. So with no further ado, I shall introduce John Stevenson. Please, great round of applause. <laughs> Thank you. When you hear introductions, like I, I'm thinking, my goodness, have we been really been doing this as as long? And I'm looking and seeing Richard there, and I'll never forget the first night uh, it, we went along to look at his business in um, uh, some theatre, I believe it was in Civic Centre in Motherwell, of course. And I'm thinking, my goodness, uh, they had just launched a, a a new product at the time, which was lingerie. And the, the, whatever you call his name, um, sales guy was, what was Stuart's title? What was his title? He used to s supposedly help people in the business anyway. He's employed the company. Aye. <laughs> <Well, laughs> I still say that. Sales development manager was in this, this uh, theatre or whatever it was. Massive stage, now the rest of it. And the boy had an 18-inch TV showing this new product, you know. And you could <laughs> And, I, and I'm sitting there with a row of prospects thinking, oh my goodness, what have I come to? But uh, what really impressed us was we went through at, at the break and was asking people, how long have you been in business? What's your turnover last month? And how much did you earn? And you know what? I did that with lots of different network marketing companies. And the only company that was happy to share that information with and show us evidence of that was Clean Easy. So that's the only reason we joined Clean Easy. We, we never grew up wanting to stick catalogs through people's doors or anything like that, you know. So that's uh, since 1994, which how long ago is that? It's about 18 years or something like that, is it? And uh, it's been a good journey, I must say. It's been in its ups and downs like everything else. But today, I was going to do a, a bit called Moving It Forward from today. And then Lynn texted me this morning and said, I'm doing a bit called Nay Fear. <laughs> so, <laughs> so there you go. Can I just say, uh, before I get into this, uh, well done, Laura and Andy. Absolutely fantastic. Abby, that was just incredible. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant, guys. If you just dig back what these three have said a day and apply, you didn't really need anything else. I would like to say well done to Jane and Lynn, but I forgot my computer this morning. I had to go back, well, go halfway home to get it, so I missed you guys. So, no fear. Um, 
I, I can be honest here and say uh, confidence in, in clean easy is fairly high now, pure, based on one thing, based on one thing, and that was a recognition parade in Birmingham in January. It was the biggest recognition that the company's seen for eight years, correct me if I'm wrong. And if that is the case, that is the case, right? If that is the case, people are getting the success. So if other people are now doing it again, does that not mean to say we can as well? And we've now got the added bonus a hand party plan, which I know there's individuals in this room that could make an absolute, an absolute fortune with it if they decide to apply. So it's, it's another uh, string to the bow, if you like. So the recognition um, thing in Birmingham really kind of opened our mind to, to what can be done again. So based on everything you've heard, how much people have been to days like this before gotten totally motivated, but not quite gotten around to doing anything about it. The most of us in the room, right? So, my wee slot here is based on exactly that, is, is why not? So what holds us back? And I thought long and hard about this, and at the end of the day, I believe it comes down to one word. It comes down to fear. Fear of something. We're not sure everybody will have different fears there. And I'll come back to that. So, what is fear? What is it? If we if we look right into it, fear is part of human nature. You, ca you can't get away from it whatsoever. And always has been. Agreed? The the first time I came, s some, of you, some of you know my first mentor in network marketing was a guy called Ron Brand. You might not have heard of Ron, but you'll certainly know his son, uh, Russell, the comedian. In fact, I was speaking to Ron this week on Facebook. Um, he, he was my first mentor. I came to stay with us and other rest in, in network market. And then he says, the first thing he did was, when I was looking to really move, he, he recognized in us that we really wanted to knuckle down and make the money, the big money. And he says, John, let me give you one clue. He says, the guy at the front of the room holding the pen is the one making the money. And I thought, oh shit. <laughs> My biggest fear in life was public speaking. But that was, that was me. It, some of you might be sitting there being total natural speakers. That was my biggest fear in life. See, fear makes, fear makes come true what we were once afraid of. Now think about that, right? If you're afraid of something, you tend to think about it. Whether it be public speaking, whether it be, well, you, you, spider, whether it be the tax man, <laughs> But the more you think about it, the more these things come true, right? The Germans have got a word for fear is fara, meaning snare or ambush. So m the more you focus on your fear, the more it becomes a reality. It's a destructive, the destructive power of fear, if left unchecked, can be devastating. And my biggest fear of public speaking held me back for a long time in, this in, in, in the industry and network marketing. So how do you get over your fear? Well, Abby just said it. In fact, Abby just said it all. You've got to hear your why. Now, everybody's probably said this a day, so everybody can't be wrong, right? So why are you here on a Sunday afternoon? It's to get something you haven't got, right? It's to get the money which will give you what you want. That's generally it, isn't it? There's not a lot of people just want the money in the bank. It's what you can do with the money. 